Amongst all living beings, humans are considered the most intelligent and superior. We humans possess a wonderful and invisible power through which we can make miracles happen. This is the power of thought. The power of thought is the greatest form of energy. Electrical and magnetic energy are examples of physical energy, which are well known, but most of us are unaware of the greatness of thought energy. If humans were to recognize the speciality of this energy, they could accomplish all their wishes. The impact of thought energy is not only seen on matter, but also on human physiology. This impact becomes miraculous when the power of thought is used along with the power of imagination. What is the power of imagination? The power of imagination means to create or draw an image of an object with the subtle eye of the mind. Even if that object has never been seen by our physical eyes, or even if it is impossible to see it. Technically, we call this visualization. In humans, the conscious mind has very little control over the subconscious mind. The subconscious mind is obedient. Hence, it's very easy to bring transformation at this level. Visualization is a very well-known process for this. In the past three decades, visualization has been used as a tool for therapeutic purposes and has proven to be very effective. In Raj Yoga Meditation, Visualization plays a very important role. Today, many people suffer from diseases such as diabetes, coronary artery diseases, high blood pressure, cancer, and many others. This presentation will inform us how Raj Yoga Meditation can help us change this scenario. In fact, all of us have the ability to heal ourselves with natural therapies. the cell.
body is like a machine that works day and night continuously throughout our lives from birth till death. Food provides us with the required energy to run this machine. Whatever we eat throughout the day is transformed into glucose that is supplied to each and every cell of the body by our blood. Glucose provides energy to all the cells. A fixed amount of glucose is essential to run all the metabolic activities of the body. If this quantity is reduced, an adverse effect shows up in just a few minutes. Our brains cannot function without glucose. This is the reason why people faint when their brains do not receive enough glucose. Contrary to this, increase of glucose levels in the blood also affect the body adversely. To regulate the balance of glucose in the blood, our body secretes many hormones. Amongst these hormones, insulin is one of the main ones. Insulin is secreted by the beta cells found in the pancreas near the stomach. Insulin plays the key role as a carrier in spreading glucose to each cell in the body. When glucose cannot enter the cells due to unavailability of insulin, the glucose level in the blood starts rising. This situation is called diabetes. In type 1 diabetes, the production of insulin stops due to complete damage of beta cells. In type 2 diabetes, more than the required insulin is secreted in the beginning. But, due to obesity or some other reason, the carrier ability of insulin to carry glucose is finished completely. This is called insulin resistance. Later on, the formulation of insulin almost stops in patients with type 2 diabetes, resulting in various physical problems that occur due to high glucose levels in the blood over a long time. I am a sentient energy. I am a soul. Almighty Father, Supreme Soul is my Supreme Doctor. Rays of purity, peace and power are coming upon me. I, the soul, am being fulfilled with these powerful rays. Now I let these wonderful rays flow into my body. Rays are touching the pancreas situated at the back side of my stomach. I can see the divine effect of these rays. Formation of beta cells have started in my pancreas.
These newly formed beta cells are secreting optimum amount of insulin. Due to this glucose is being transported very easily to all the cells in my body. It is ending insulin resistance in my body. Glucose particles are entering each and every cell and spreading energy in my body. I, the soul, can see that the glucose level in my body is becoming normal. Each and every organ is becoming healthy by receiving light from the Supreme Light, Supreme Father. All the abnormalities of the body due to diabetes are now being cured. The cholesterol level in my blood is also balancing. I, the soul, can see my body becoming healthy now. Both the soul and the body are becoming pure and healthy by the rays of purity and power from the Almighty Supreme Father. Now, I have an absolutely healthy mind and body. I am ever healthy. An ever disease-free life and happiness is my eternal birthright. Practice this regularly for at least five minutes in the morning and the evening. You can revise this exercise in your free time during the day as well. Both your mind and your body will become healthy. Diabetic patients will definitely be benefited by this practice. Om Shanti.